All right, you want me? We we go. Yeah. What are we doing? All right. All right. I had to get this primary cover done because I didn't feel like buying another one, and this one came out nice. It's no big deal. So I just taped it off real nice. We're gonna make it black. I, I have a um, a mo like a, a motor somewhere from. Let's see here. I know I have it. Oh, of course. Here we go. I've had this picture in my phone for years. Look, it's it's blurry. It won't even download. And that's that's what I've always wanted, but I can't can't afford LSX blocks. So and that's why we painted the motor orange. I covered the motor. Oh, it's over there. Where the fuck did my motor go? Um, so I've always just wanted to do that. Like I like the black, like with the the red block and the aluminum heads, the black intake. That intake kind of not nice of that war intake on it. So I'm just gonna. You know, make the, I don't know, maybe armor all plastic. I'm not sure. Uh, anyway, we're going to paint that black tonight. We got to get these apart because I got from this guy parts from Japan on Instagram. Uh, he found me these. These are like my dream rims. Like, I've always wanted these ever since high school. Um, it was like a one video on YouTube I saw like Hurt, like Hurt was drifting. And there was like a guy, I think it was like Mike. It's a Dowers racing. I don't know. I had like a like pink rims on. I think it some one of them in the video had those, and I just I've always worn them ever since then. Then we got I got my um, parts back from powder coat, um, so we got to put them back together with the gaskets and all that good stuff, and that's done. And then we just got to start really ripping through. Oh, I got these gear rims. Look at these bad boys. I had to get these for the motor because you know we're we're big engine builders now. Look at those bad boys. Oh, yeah. Nice stuff. So, yeah, boy. just a little bit, a little bit of salt. Me and Tyler, it's like a Tuesday night. Me and Tyler just had to get some stuff done because he's going to be gone for the next three weeks. So, I'm going to have to start busting my ass to get him film. And so, bear with me when I go to actually start filming because I, yeah, we're sitting. I, I'm, I'm built for work and not filming. That's why Tyler's good at this stuff. It's the only reason it's actually on YouTube. But anyway, we're going we're gonna to get all this split, get that painted, get these together, and then we'll get back to you and show you everything we did. Spray paint in my hand. Damn it. steering wheels for sale very expensive I'm not gonna lie they're gonna be 500 bucks on the crtracing.com I hope one day we can do merch that'd be cool oh yeah I have some in the works all right yeah but so we got those separated they're just like loads of silicone so you just got to keep cutting and cutting and cutting until they finally come apart and these things are getting sent out for a re-chrome the, these are apparently really expensive to chrome just little pieces like that. So that guy parts now Japan. I, I don't, it's something like that. I, I can link it, I guess. I'll tell Tyler. Um, he's going to polish them. And then once they're polished, you know, they'll, they'll look like chrome. They'll just, and then I'm going to get like a yellow inlay. I saw like a, one done like that a while ago it looks so good. And then he's gonna pop these back in, and then I could probably just clear over them, and then they'll stay shiny. Um, and then I, once we get the car rolling and 
have an idea, we're going to buy barrels and all that and we'll do it, you know, on video just for fun. We just always wanted to do it. So, kind of the theme of this project. Just do everything and figure it out because I just want to learn how to do it. That's all. I mean, the engine stuff, I, I was like kind of scared of it and then you start ripping it down. I mean, it's really not that big a deal. I don't, I mean, I don't know. It is a junkyard LS, but it's like, it's really not that hard once you get down to it. The hard part, Tyler wasn't around for it, it was a long time ago. I mean, well before we ever decided, like, Tyler was like, you should put this on YouTube. And this is a long, way long before that, but I um, tore it down with my dad and my friend Drew. He was helping a couple videos back. And we just, like, ripped all the electronics off it. The old manifold bolts, some of the manifold bolts were stuck. I got them off of pliers. Nice. And uh, so... Yeah, so the hard part's already done. Um, didn't get that on video, of course. I kind of wish I had that because the thing looked like a piece of shit. And then it turned out looking really nice on the inside, so. You have any pictures of it? I have, I have a video, a picture and a video tearing down, I think, somewhere. But it's like, it'll be iPhone screen. Yeah, but I'll throw it in just so I can see it. Yeah, I can, I can show you. It's like a rat's nest. It looks hilarious. But it did look cool because it had the CTSB cover. I still have that somewhere, I think. Um, that'd be kind of funny to put on it. Yeah. But anyway, enough talking. We're just going to clean this stuff up and we're going to work on these calipers and we'll get back to you when, you know, they're together. We've got some stickers to put on, make them look pretty and whatnot. And then me and Tyler are pretty set up for Thursday to tear into that motor, finish that hopefully. And then this weekend I got to bust ass and get this suspension in because Tyler's going to wait for three weeks. And he's my editor, so I kind of got to give him a lot of content. Let's so see that's it. the plan. We're going to get it done. And I'll see you when we're done this. Alright, so we're back. Um, we obviously got it all together. There's just some things fighting us. Like the one barrel was just like, it had an edge on it and I had to sand it and it finally went in smooth. So that was okay. But other than that, it, it went alright. We just had problems with the boots like sealing in. Um, so we ended up using just like a rubber hammer and then they just, they popped right in. So, and it didn't damage anything. We had to put all these back together. I mean, like everything back together. It's a pain in the butt. And then I got like, you know, like the new, like, I don't know, what are the little dust boots for the grease fittings. And then, you know, like just got them red and a little Brembo sticker. These are Brembo. Good stuff. A little Pork Chop Max. I just, I didn't like the gold, so it's all red. And then this isn't Brembo red either. This is orange red. Then these are the Z32 calipers uh, from Part Shop Max. They're really nice too. They're just going to be the handbrake, but uh, I just decided to match it because I thought it'd be like pretty to have these in the front and these just red with nothing on it. So I did that. That's a that's a Beats Audio sticker because <laughs> you know definitely not Brembo. Um, so yeah, so that's all done. And then uh, we got the faces out. I think they showed that, right? It, they're out, so we I had to smack them out with a rubber mount, too. They were just really stuck. These are going out for chrome this week, and apparently it's pretty quick. The little buttons will be polished, so I won't lose them. Uh, I was actually worried about that. Apparently the guy can do it. And then 
this we're just throwing one set of clear on and that should be done and then part two of the engine will start because Tyler ordered me some parts. I was missing a few things like the gasket for that, ARP bolt for like the super damper. Um, there's a few other things, but whatever. You'll see that in the next video. We're done and on to the next. Have a good one, guys. See you later.